Hey guys, if you want to see what goodies I have in here, in here, in all these boxes, and you want a full tour of the boat, you guys stick around. We're going to give you a tour of my brand new Phoenix 921 Elite 2. It's an awesome boat, and I'll show, you guys, or show it to you guys now. I got you, baby. What's up guys? Hey, Justin Lucas here, and I'm going to take you on a tour of my brand new boat. The year is 2023, and this is a 2023 Phoenix 921 Elite 2. So let's take a walk around this thing. We're going to get inside after we walk around it. I'm going to show you guys the inside and out, uh, and also how I have it set up for tournaments. We are at a tournament this week here in Florida. Uh, I'm a little biased, but I think it is perfect. I think it's set up uh, amazingly. There's nothing I would change. So if you guys want to uh, get some ideas for your own boat or maybe a future boat you might purchase, you guys take this tour with me. All right, guys, so on the back end, I've, of course, I've got a Yamaha uh, 250 show. I've been in this motor and this boat, Yamaha Phoenix, since 2015 now. And I am really, really proud to say, like super proud to say, that motor has never left me stranded. I literally tell all my buddies when they buy new boats, get you a Yamaha. Reliability to me is the most important thing on the water and it is so trustworthy, I love that motor. Of course, we have power pull blades, uh, and it just looks awesome. Looks like an alien now, or a, what's that movie? Alien movie? Everybody says it looks like the aliens off the alien movie. So anyway, uh, power pull blades on the back, and of course, these are eight footers, you can tell, uh, but if you've ran 10 footers, leave a comment down below if you like them or not, because I hear, I hear pretty good things about the 10s. I just don't like the way that they look compared to the eights, but I might be willing to switch. So. If you guys have, leave a comment. I want to hear, hear about it. Uh, back here in the back, really important area now, especially with all, all the graphs we're running and everything, uh, is the battery area. I've got Battleborn batteries uh, for my trolling motor. These are 100 amp hour, 12 volt batteries, uh, of course. So those are hooked in series to run the trolling motor. And then I've got two cranking, or I have two cranking batteries that are running parallel, acting as one big cranking battery. Those are still AGM batteries. I have not switched to lithium for cranking, uh, again, because reliability is really important to me, and I feel like those are the most reliable uh, for a cranking motor. So let's move over to the co uh, console, and I'll show you guys the graph setup. All right, so at the console, uh, one thing I'll say, first of all, too, is I'm not sponsored by any a uh, specific brand when it comes to graphs. So I, I get to run what I want to run and I really enjoy uh, doing it that way. And there's great things about all the units out there. So I try and take the best from each one. I do still love Humminbird for side imaging and mapping. Those are the big things to me that Humminbird is still superior at compared to the other brands out there. Uh, and I did switch to an Apex unit this year. And for one reason only, is because it has two ethernet ports in the back. If you guys have watched my old videos, I've talked about uh, the ethernet box that allows these graphs to talk with each other. I don't like that box. I feel like it, it has ghosts in it, you know? It allows the units to talk when they shouldn't be talking, do things they shouldn't be doing. And ever since I got rid of the box, my issues have gone way down, uh, much lower, if any at all, to be honest. So two ethernet ports, one cord running to this graph, so, uh, and then another one running to the graph up front so I have mapping uh, up front and one card will share between all three of these units. So that's really cool. So this is gonna be uh, mapping and 2D down image on that side, full side image on this side. And we'll go up front and I'll show you guys the front setup real quick. All right, it's a little dusty. Don't judge me on my screens being dusty. I will have them clean tomorrow morning for the tournament, uh, but we're on a dusty road right now and I haven't cleaned the boat since yesterday. So up front though, Let's go over this real quick uh, because three graphs up here, you're like probably what's going on. Uh, but this unit is the one that has an ethernet cord to the back. And this is the one that's gonna share a map and I'm gonna use this for 2D. So map and 2D only on this unit. Lowrance uh, HDS 12 Live, I think is what it's called. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so I don't even know what it's really called, but I think it's a live, uh, but I know it's an HDS 12. And this is one I'm running Active Target on. It's a great unit. Uh, I ran it for the first time in 2022, loved it. Uh, and I switched from another brand to this one because I liked it so much. And then the top unit here, of course, uh, this is gonna be my 360 unit. So this doesn't need an ethernet cord from the back because the only thing this is for is for 360. So it literally has a power cord and a sonar cord from the 360 and that's it. Trolling motor, I do run a Minkota Ultrax. I am 
patiently waiting for a new one to come out and uh, you guys will probably see that fairly soon. Can't say who, can't say what, but it's coming. It's a new brand trolling motor. You guys are gonna really like it. I've ran it, it's awesome. Uh, one thing I do is I have the Big Rig Bassin 360 quick disconnect mount up here. When I wanna take off my 360, all I've gotta do is lift those two levers, pop that off, and I can take my 360 off. Um, super handy for getting the boat cover on tight if I'm traveling a long ways, or like down here in Florida, if I was in heavy grass, fishing in heavy grass, I can take that thing off in 30 seconds, and then this thing's not gonna be catching all that grass. So really nice mount from Big Rig Bassin. That's about it for the uh, outside of the boat. So let's hop in and I'll show you guys how I have it rigged. Uh, we're, like I said, here at a tournament in Florida. So you're gonna see exactly how I've got everything set up in there. And it's nothing special, but it works for me and it's a great boat and I'm excited to show you guys inside. All right, so this is my main box for all of my tackle. Um, and the 921 Elite 2 doesn't have a day box off to the side. But what I love, one thing this does have is this sliding tray. And I really use this as my day box. So I get in here several times throughout the day. The slam latches make it really easy. And any plastics that I'm going to use for the tournament, I just set right there and pretty much never have to get in anywhere else because I'm going to have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to use throughout the day after practice. So that sliding tray is huge. Love it. That essentially is my day box. Uh, but then again, all my tackle, terminal, everything is in here. I'll keep some stuff in that back compartment. And other than that, all tackle right here. This box, guys, nothing really that exciting going on in here. Uh, because it's towards the front of the boat, I like to keep a light load in there. So really close. Got some rain gear, a few extra spinner baits, and some GoPro accessories. And that's it. Nothing crazy in that box. But light load helps keep some top end speed high. And uh, yeah, doesn't need to be much more than that. I don't carry that much stuff. Starbird rod locker. I think I got that right. Uh, the right side rod locker is going to be my life jacket, a little more rain gear. This is my lighter rain gear for hotter weather. I have soft plastics that I keep underneath that stuff, just extras in case I need to restock what's in there. Uh, it does add a little bit of weight keeping the soft plastics in there, but I know that I always have everything I need when I've got a few extras over there. Of course, we have the push pole out. I also do fit that in here. I can unscrew that. I think it's 14 feet. Uh, but I unscrew that and that fits in there as well. Another reason I love not having the day box is that full big rod locker gives me a lot more room to store stuff. On this side, all the rods uh, and reels, bunch of brand new Abu Garcia Revos in there, uh, and then just a bunch of Abu Garcia rods. We're down here in Florida, so you guys should be proud of me. I only have like two spinning rods in there right now. That is like super rare, but that's all we have. Everything else is bait casters. Right down here, I love this little area that Phoenix has. I keep markers, uh, some dyes, super glue, little knife in there. That little knife, I believe it or not, I've had this thing like, I think since 2011, it's an old FLW knife and it still works, still opens and closes. And when you snell knot or tie a snell knot with braid, a knife to cut that knot is the deal. Like you'll ruin your scissors trying to cut it on a hook. So. Keep a little knife in your boat, guys. Uh, in here, just some more dye, a uh, hook sharpener down there, an ice chest right there. And then you guys know this, you've seen it on Phoenix. It's a little tool area. Uh, that's an awesome area. We have pliers, split ring pliers, extra cutters, pair of scissors on the floor, but all of it goes right there and you always know where it's at. Love that too. So on the back deck, of course, we have two lids back here. This one is some extra tackle. I'm gonna put things back here that I really don't think I need in a tournament, but could be a possibility. Uh, so I tend to not get in here very often. Most importantly, there's a nice toolbox in there with everything I need uh, in case I do have some kind of problem on the boat and need to adjust wires or whatever it might be. Uh, and this side, I'm a nice guy. I was a co-angler one time and I know what it's like being on a boat and not having a compartment. So unlike most guys, I keep this thing wide open for my guys. And in fact, I'm so nice, I give them a Tackle Warehouse hat and gift card when they come fishing with me. So you guys need to come fishing with me sometime. Might get one of those. But in all honesty, uh, my boat officials, I like, I like them to have their spot. Or if I was in, I was in a Toyota last week, had co-anglers with me. I do like giving them a spot. And uh, I do 
give a tackle warehouse gift card to the guys that come fishing with me. So I hope you guys enjoy this tour. Uh, that's pretty much a full walk down, run through, whatever you wanna call it, of a 921 Elite 2. In my opinion, best boat on the market, best motor on the market. All my friends get mad at me because I think that I always say I have the best everything, but I really do believe the way that this is set up from the electronics, the way they're rigged with the wiring, uh, this motor, this boat, the whole package is the best that you can possibly get. And I love it. Uh, I'm very thankful for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And if you're ever looking for a new boat or you have any questions, shoot me a message on Instagram. Always happy to help and uh, answer any questions you guys may have. So thank you for tuning in and we will see you guys next time.